We're almost at the door. We've officially been a family of four for a few weeks now, and so I thought I would share a day in the life with two kids and what that's been looking like. A huge thank you to Vavaya for sponsoring today's video. More about them later. Mornings have been looking very different around here lately. There's two kids now, so we like to divide and conquer. Daddy is with Sage, I'm with Oakley, and I don't know if this is common, I feel like parents just have to split up and kind of tackle one kid at a time. If you have three kids or more, how do you handle the mornings? Sage just turned three and the hardest thing right now is getting her dressed she only wants to wear princess dresses or t-shirts and shorts she is definitely not a winter baby and even though it's not officially winter yet it's definitely getting cold out and so the layers have been a struggle breakfast is our hardest meal with sage if i'm gonna be honest it's usually some spreaded green toast with peanut butter jam or avocado Sometimes she'll have sausage or bacon, a side of fruit. It really just depends on the day, but usually we like to keep it pretty simple. If you're struggling with meals for your kids, you're not alone. Ever since I got pregnant with Oakley, Sage has become such a daddy's girl. And if I'm honest, in the beginning, it was a little bit of a hard transition for me, but now just seeing them thrive together just melts my heart. I feel like Matt was just made to be a dad and is living his best dad life. Honestly, two kids just feels like you are constantly doing things for other people and trying to squeeze in a little bit of time for you. I know we're just in a busy season of life right now, but it's also filled with a lot of slow moments, lots of cuddles. On this morning, I actually was able to take a shower and do my skincare before Oakley woke up, which was really great. Usually I do it while he's already up and I'll just bring him in the bathroom with the bouncer. I don't know if this is just like a second child thing and I don't wanna jinx it, but Oakley is a really good sleeper at night. He does like a good four hour stretch, a three hour stretch, a two hour stretch. It kind of dwindles down as the morning comes closer. So I'm really just soaking up those longer stretches of sleep throughout the night. He's also really fast at nursing. So I feel like he's like chug, chug, chug back to bed, which gives mom some extra rest, which I've really been appreciating as I've been healing myself. One of my best tips for getting your newborn to sleep longer throughout the night is to just hold off on diaper changes. Unless obviously they have like a big poop explosion I don't change Oakley until the morning. I just find if you are unswaddling them and changing them, they're gonna wake up and it just takes way longer to get them back settled down for bed. Leaving him swaddled kind of keeps him in a sleepy daze, kind of like a dream feed. So I'm able to top him up before he fully wakes up and he goes right back to bed. One way that I also help separate daytime from nighttime is changing them into different clothes. It's obviously really easy just to keep them in PJs all day, but I really try to designate certain clothes for nighttime and then different clothes for daytime. Every morning is so different. Some mornings I feel like I get no time to myself. Some mornings I get a shower, but when I can actually take some time to even put on a little bit of makeup, even if I'm not going anywhere, it, it just makes me feel good. I don't know how to explain it. It sounds silly because like no one's seeing me, but it just makes me feel like I'm doing something for me and it makes me feel like fresh and ready for the day. We actually had a special day today, so I did do a little bit more makeup. I curled my hair and I got Sage ready too. Matt actually does know how to do her hair, which is like the cutest thing ever. I mean, he's very limited. It's usually just a ponytail. She knows daddy cannot do braids. I did a little spritz of water and leave-in conditioner and just kind of scrunched her curls. While I was doing Sage's hair, Matt took Cashew out for a morning walk. I'm really looking forward to when we can all start doing family walks together. Before we leave, I want to talk about today's sponsor, Vivaya. I'm so excited to be working with them again. They make the most beautiful, actually comfortable, sustainable, eco-friendly shoes. I got some new pairs that I can't wait to show you. They're absolutely gorgeous and most importantly, super comfortable, especially as a new mom. Gotta have comfort. The Christmas lights are on. It's very festive. This one is the Ryan Pro in this beautiful espresso color. Like how gorgeous is that? I love this style because you can wear it with like a long sweater dress like I have on now. You can wear it with jeans. You can really dress it up or down and it's just like a casual, super comfortable boot that is just super versatile. Not to mention it's water repellent, which makes it just more weatherproof because you never know what the weather is gonna be like, especially if you live in Canada. One day it's sunny, one day it's rainy, one day it's snowing. You never know. This is the style Samantha in the color forest green. These might be one of my favorites. So these are a square toe loafer and they're actually wide feet friendly, which I happen to have wider feet and I find it so uncomfortable to wear anything that's narrow. I just get blisters. It's uncomfortable to walk in. So I love that their shoes are just so comfortable. It has a stretchy knit fabric, has an arch support footbed and also machine washable. It also has a little cushion part in the back of the ankle here. It's all I need in life. 
office comfortable shoes guys I feel like everyone needs a good pair of white sneakers I love these ones these are the V prime in the color white and green they are actually a gender neutral style and they have lots of different colors fun fact these are actually made from 100% recycled yarn and recycled elastic laces we have some traveling plan next year and these are going to be perfect not to mention they also have the cushion in the back like they thought of everything these are similar to the espresso ankle boots that i showed a little bit higher and they have like this detailing on the side which i love they also have a square toe they're water repellent and they're so comfortable i've worn these so many times already my mom funny enough has a matching pair i'll drop in a photo of us here we actually went for a little lunch date with oakley comment down below do you also have the same wardrobe as your mom you guys can use my code on the screen to save 15 percent off i'll have a link down below where you can shop their website and check out all of their beautiful designs these these are the ones I'm wearing today, so I'm gonna put them on and then we gotta go. <laughs> Actually making good time. I know, Oki. We're almost gonna go, okay? And you can have a nap. He's usually pretty good in the car. Changed his diaper. I topped him up with milk. Oakley. I don't even think I've mentioned where we're going. We are doing Oakley's newborn photo shoot today, as well as some family photos. And I think we're gonna squeeze in some mini Christmas photos because they also have a room set up for Christmas already. So I think Daddy, we're gonna get Daddy, it all done today. Daddy, jacket. <laughs> so she learns. No she jacket. will not wear a jacket, guys. How do you get your top? Like she Daddy, will at daycare Daddy. when everyone's like going outside. Yes. No jacket. No jacket. Okay. She kn jacket. she knows. It's cold. Oh, oh man, how's leaving the house with two kids? It's okay. It's not bad. I feel like we just like divide and conquer. Like we don't see each other in the morning. We're like. Beast. We did them before for Sage when she was a newborn. We're going to the same girl. She's so amazing. I'll link her below and hopefully we get some good shots. I'm not gonna lie, we're running a little late. I have to stop to get some food because I have not eaten anything. I mean, normally I'm pretty good. I do eat breakfast. It's 9.30 a.m. right now. I have collagen in my herbal coffee right now, but I have not, I should have grabbed that peanut butter and jelly sandwich you made me last night. Um, yeah, I just like get the kids ready and myself. The fact that I even like did my make curled my hair. I didn't have time for breakfast. Something's got to give. You got to make sacrifices. And this morning it was food. Okay, hold mommy's hand. Thank you. Oh, mommy. Oh, you don't want to dirty your shoes? Okay, we'll go this way. <laughs> I'm so pretty. Hi. Hi. Look who grew up. Wow, you're so tall. I love your dress. Topping them just wrapped up the Christmas photo shoot. We had, oh my God, the lighting in here, so good. <laughs> I'm like, oh. We had a couple of meltdowns from one of the kids, um, but we got some really cute shots and we're gonna do like the, the swaddled newborn photo shoots now. And then I think we're gonna do some more, we're doing some more family ones in that room, yeah. The hardest part about family photo shoots is dealing with the toddlers. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> okay, I'll wait. That's it. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> This is Oprah, our amazing photographer that we have for Sage you too. Don't they look really, I don't know if you remember they what Sage exactly looks like. They look exactly the same. I feel like I have twin newborns. Yeah. Side by side, they're going to look exactly the same. Hi, Minnie Sage.
Alright, right, that's gonna be it for today. I got my babies cuddling. Thank you again to Vavaya for sponsoring today's video. Use my code to get 15% off. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Daddy went up to go shower and then it's mommy's turn. Okay, bye.